Hi guys, Neil Waterhouse. This week's video is a step-by-step -step showing how to add variations to your eBay listings. If anybody new to this channel, my name is Neil Waterhouse. I've been selling on eBay for 25 years. I'm the author of Million Dollar eBay Business from Home and creator of Dropship Formula. So let's launch straight into it. Just so we're on the same page, here's an example of an eBay multi-variation listing selling sheepskin wool moccasins. Notice with this multi-variation listing, you can select the size and the color of the moccasins. This is an eBay multi-variation listing, and this video shows you step-by-step -step how to set it up. So let's get started. For this demonstration, I'll create a brand new listing. And to do that, click on the sell button at the top of any page on eBay. Then create listing, then single listing, then search for the correct category for whatever you're gonna list. For this example, I'll list some men's t-shirts. So I'll choose men's t-shirts. Notice as I type, eBay automatically shows what it believes to be the relevant categories. One of the suggestions is men's t-shirts, which is correct, so I'll select the category. Next, eBay makes product suggestions based on popular items, but if the item that you're selling is not one of the suggested items, then just scroll to the bottom of the page and select continue without match. Next, eBay asks you to choose the condition of the item. For this demonstration, I'll select new without tags. Now, eBay takes me to the listing description page where you enter all the details about the item that you're selling. Now, if you scroll down approximately halfway down the page, there's a variations button. If you're not seeing the variations button, this is normally because of one of two reasons. The first reason is that you must have an eBay store for the variations buttons to show. If you do not currently have an eBay store, the variations button will not show. Now, if you don't have an eBay store, but you'd like to know when or how to set up an eBay store, I'll put a link at the end of this video to previous week's video showing how and when to set up an eBay store. The second reason the variations button may not be showing is, variations only work with buy it now listings. They do not work with auction listings. Now, if you scroll down this same page, there's a box where you can select buy it now for the listing or auction. So if you're planning to do a multi-variation listing, you must select buy it now. Okay, so hopefully your variations edit button is now showing. Now click the edit variations button and notice that eBay has automatically added these attributes or variations. For this demonstration, I'm gonna delete these attributes or variations by clicking the crosses. The next step is to add the attributes that you want, i.e. size and color. To do that, click the add button and check the box next to the color and size then click the save button. Now, when I'm on the color tab, eBay shows me a whole load of colors. And if the color that you want is not there, there's also a create your own button. For this demonstration, I'll click on black, blue, and orange. Notice that these variations appear on the right hand side. Next, if I click on the size tab, eBay shows me a whole stack of sizes. And again, if the size that you want is not there, you can click create your own on, from the hyperlink. For this demonstration, I'll select small, medium, and large. Notice again that once you click on the variations that you choose, those options instantly show on the right-hand side. Once you've finished adding your attributes on variations, click on the blue continue button. Next, upload your photos, just like you do with any other non-multi-variation listing. However, you can allocate a different photo for each variation, and you should do this. So when a buyer selects, say, a blue t-shirt, eBay displays a blue t-shirt. To do this, scroll down and change add variation photos to color. Then you can select each color and a matching photo for the listing. And then scroll to the bottom and you'll see all the different colors that you've added. Next, click the price and quantity tabs to enter the price and quantity available. Note though, you need to check the box next to the variational variations that you wish to change the price and quantity for. Also, if you're using a program like Scarcity Manager to automatically check your supplier's inventory levels, you'll also need to add a SKU number to each variation for Scarcity Manager to work with eBay variations. The SKU number can be absolutely anything, but just make sure that each SKU number for each variation is different or a different number. After you've done that, click on the blue save and close button. The next steps are just like optimizing any other non-multi-variation listing. If you want to know how to optimize your listings to increase eBay sales fast, make sure you watch this video up here. 
and I'll put a link at the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Until next week, stay safe, this is Marcel Moore, this is Neil Waterhouse.